you're new here my name is Liv nice to meet you and today I am so so excited because I am going to be doing an iPhone 15 unboxing so I am not one to jump on Apple's newest iPhones as soon as they come out but I just turned 23 this past weekend and I did get this as a birthday gift I am so beyond grateful and I'm so beyond excited because I've heard nothing but great things about this iPhone and I'm just really excited to have an upgrade especially because it just came out and I've never had an iPhone as soon as it comes out. This is my old iPhone. I have the iPhone 12. I've honestly not had many issues with it up until recently. It started slowing down a lot, glitching, ghost typing, all the fun things that Apple iPhones do. So it's about time that I upgrade to a new phone. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox it now. I'm very, very excited. So as you guys can see, this color is very beautiful and sleek. Dark midnight navy blue. And this is absolutely an upgrade for me because I am going from two cameras to three cameras. So I am very excited to see the difference. I'm going to take it out now. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. the most satisfying part. One of the newest things about this iPhone is the USB-C cord. And the first thing that I notice, other than the fact that the physical cord is a different shape, is that it is kind of like a braided material. I don't know if you guys can fully see. It feels very, very different from the older Apple chargers. And honestly, I'm thinking that because it's this material, it might last a little longer because I know a lot of times with the other cords, they tend to get crunched or crooked and twisted. And I feel like this is going to be a lot more durable and last longer, but I guess we will see if that is true. Next, it comes with this little design by Apple little sticker case with some instructions. Oh, you no longer need a physical SIM card to activate your iPhone. And of course the instructions and this cute little Apple sticker, which I don't think I've ever had before. I guess this is something Apple's been doing for a while, but like I said, I have the iPhone 12, so I haven't seen all of this new fun stuff. And now that we have opened up and gone through everything, I am going to go ahead and turn the iPhone on. This is always the best part of getting brand new Apple products is just the new feeling of restarting on a brand new phone. And I am so excited. It's been a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and start setting it up. I have my phone next to me and I already see this coming up. So I'm thinking this is going to be a lot easier to set up than my iPhones in the past. So I went and I pressed continue on this and I'm gonna see I guess it's connecting. I was in the middle of setting it up and the phone died, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. My old phone is playing a huge role in why this is taking so long. As you can see, it's really glitching out right now. Just goes to show that this could not have come at a more perfect time and I'm very ready for the upgrade. So this is about my third or fourth try, unfortunately, since this phone has been giving me issues lately. It worked before, then the phone died. Now I'm trying to do it again and it isn't seeming to go as planned. So I might have to do this manually. I will be right back when I try and do it manually. So I was able to do it manually, so now I'm just continuing in the process. Okay, so I did face a few setbacks, but my eSIM card is activating right now. I'm unsure of how long this process takes. I think it's different for everybody. Just, just got it. Literally just got the notification. I was going to continue watching The Amazing Race because if you know me in real life, I'm obsessed with reality TV, but actually I'm gonna continue setting up this phone. Okay, so it officially worked. I got this nice little notification on my old phone. Now, I did see in another iPhone 15 unboxing video on YouTube that if you get the chance to do the software update to do that update because apparently some people are having issues who don't do the update. So I'm just gonna go ahead and update it now to 
make sure I won't have that issue at all. So while this is finishing up the update, I'm just going to show you guys a few more features of the phone and what it looks like on the outside. So here on the side is obviously the volume buttons, but as you can see, we do have this new action button, which I will be able to customize and change to whichever action I want. And then here is the power button. If you look at it next to my old phone, it is significantly lower. So I'm gonna have to get used to that because I'm very used to it being in this position. I've had this phone for a while now. And of course, the camera is probably the most exciting part for me. It does raise very high, especially compared to my old phone. As you can see, the old camera did not raise up very high and it was not nearly as big as this camera. So actually the same exact size, which I'm excited about because I like the size of my 12 and I didn't want a bigger iPhone size because it would not fit in my hand. But here is back of each of them. I do love, love, love this red salmon color and I am going to miss it, but this sleek blue is just so beautiful that I can't be mad. Plus it's an iPhone. Like, let's be real. It could be any color as long as it functions correctly. My old phone does have this area right here and the new phone does not have that, although it's kind of hard to see. But lastly, the obvious difference is the new charging port. This one has the brand new USB-C, which is nice because it's interchangeable with iPad chargers, Mac chargers. This is a universal cord, so it will just be a lot more common to find. And this is the old charging port, which is a lot smaller and only for Apple iPhones. The time remaining is estimating right now. I'm really nervous for how long this is going to take. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but I have a lot of photos and videos on my old iPhone. Okay, it's moving. We're moving, guys. We're moving. I still don't have a time estimation though, so I don't know if that's a bad sign. Okay, so the backup did also pop up on my old iPhone as well. It's a little bit further along on that and not as far along on this one. So hopefully this one is the accurate one and it won't take as long. It's having me set up face ID. <laughs> okay, so last time I tried transferring it from my iPhone, this time I think I'm gonna do it from iCloud because it was giving me issues due to storage. So let's see if this works better. It has this cool little animation going on while it's fetching my iCloud. The anticipation is killing me. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Last time I did this, it made me reset the entire process. Not gonna lie, I do feel like I remember this process being a lot quicker with my past iPhones, but the fact that I even have a new iPhone, I can't complain as long as it works eventually. We're good, we're good. And now that I actually do have some time in between, I'm gonna put on The Amazing Race. And if you guys have any reality TV show suggestions while we're on the topic, please suggest down below. I am open to literally any suggestion I've watched, probably like, 80 to 90% of reality TV shows out there. So if you got this far in the video, suggest your favorite reality TV show so I know that you watched. I just got back from doing a few errands. My iCloud said it was estimated for like four hours when I left. It looks like it may be done though. So I'm gonna attempt to open it. All fingers and toes are crossed right now because I don't know if it's gonna make me start from scratch or if it's just gonna work. But here we go, guys. Restore completed. I'm scared. Okay, wait guys, I think I'm in. I think I'm in because I've, it's never given me the option to do the action button before. So I think like we're moving forward in the process finally. So this is the action button that everyone has been raving about. And I'm gonna customize it now. So it gives me a couple different options, silent mode, focus, camera, magnifier, shortcut, accessibility, no action. Oh, so there is an option to just have the button do literally nothing. I don't know why anyone would pick that, but I'm gonna make it a camera button to open up my camera. I honestly might end up just turning it back to silent mode because that's just what I'm used to. But for now, we'll try the new camera action button and see. It's finally happening. Ah! So looks like I'm, a couple of things are still downloading. This is 
old phone, new phone. When I hold both phones in my hand, this one is definitely heavier, but I do know that this one is lighter than the iPhone 14 from what I've heard. I think that it got heavier since the iPhone 12 and then this was their attempt to make it lighter again. And I just, I love that it's the same size because that was one of my favorite things about the iPhone 12. All right, so we have the phone up and starting. Everything is still downloading from iCloud, so it's probably going to be a long while for everything to download, but we are officially done with the unboxing and setting up of my iPhone. I am just so stoked right now. I can't actually believe that I really have the iPhone 15. I did not expect to get it. Since everything is still downloading onto my phone, I can't exactly go into testing out the new features and all that stuff for this video, but let me know if you guys want to see like a customizing and playing around with my iPhone 15 video because I will definitely do that for you guys if that's something that you'd be interested in. Okay guys and that is it. I am so excited to have my new iPhone. I think this actually may have been my very first unboxing video. Hopefully it will not be my last. I plan to do more for you guys. If you did like this video please consider giving it a like and potentially subscribing if you're new here and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.